I'm honored to be able to speak to you today at the Royal Society of Medicine. My name is Dr. Ilya Skolnikov, author of the Skolnikov Method, New Medicine for a New You. My um, grandfather knew Robert J. Oppenheimer, who graduated from Cambridge, where I spoke yesterday. And they were friends where they met at UC Berkeley, where my grandfather, Hokan Chevalier, had, had taught. Uh, my father went to Columbia University. My mother went to Berkeley and taught at Stanford. So I feel like I'm in the right place. <laughs> Once upon a time, I was only 15 years old. Hard to imagine, but true. And I think it was the first time I can remember my parents arguing. I thought I was alone in the house because my brother was away at school until I heard, he was away at college until I heard this uh, screaming and shouting and glass breaking. I went upstairs to find out what all the commotion was about, about um, and lo and behold, it was coming from my parents' bedroom. I put my <laughs> ear up to the door and I heard this Boom! I open up, throw open the door, and lo and behold, there are my parents, looking as though they're about to do battle in the octagon. So I yell out, what the heck is going on here? What's all this yelling? What's all this shouting? I can't take it anymore. I'm out of here. I'm leaving. So I run out of the room. I slam the door behind me. I run downstairs. I slam the door to the front of the house, and I think to myself, I'm going to run away. And then my next thought is, well, runaways lead terrible lives, so maybe instead I should go get a sandwich. So... I walked down the red brick street that we lived on. See, we lived in the, the coolest neighborhood of San Francisco, right near the Haight-Ashbury, right near the University of California, San Francisco. Because, like I said, my father, he was a medical doctor. He was a psychiatrist. It was perfect. My mother was an anthropologist. They had it all perfectly worked out in the perfect neighborhood, in the perfect part of San Francisco, which is the perfect city, in the perfect country, in the perfect world. Everything was perfect. So I went down to my favorite sandwich shop, the perfect submarine sandwich shop and I walk inside and there's my favorite Arab lady at the front counter and she says oh yes Mr. Ilya what can I get for you today I said well I'd like the Italian toasted foot long combo sandwich with the works on the San Francisco sourdough French bread roll I want it all I want the uh, avocado and lettuce and tomato and onions I want the a mortadella and the Italian pastrami and the salami on one side with the golden spicy brown mustard underneath and I want the provolone cheese melted on top. That should be toasted. On the other side it should be steamed with mayonnaise on it. Oh, and I want the uh, olives and I want the pepperoncinis and I want the Italian dressing and I want the, the hot sauce and do you guys have mushrooms? You do? Yeah. Can you put some mushrooms on there? You guys have olives? Good. I want it all! She said, that will be $7, please. So I reach into my pocket. This was around 1983. And lo and behold, I had exactly $7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is not a mistake. You're looking at $700. It's 2021. <laughs> and our, our president in the United States Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe, has been printing lots of money. So I'm preparing. <laughs> Applaud as little or as much as you'd like. I would like to be prepared to buy another one of these sandwiches, OK? <laughs> this was the most amazing sandwich. So as I'm eating the sandwich, I think to myself, wow, you know, life is good. but." What am I going to do now? Well, I guess I'll go home. So as soon as I walk in through the front door after eating the sandwich, my mother says, where were you? What happened? We thought you ran away. I said, I went to get a sandwich. My father says, well, son, we, we were worried about you. We were concerned. Uh, we were even thinking of calling the police. I said, well, you know, I didn't, I didn't like it here. You guys were yelling and screaming and shouting. And he said, yes, uh, we had some things to discuss. And, we don't like this obvious attempt of you to act out emotionally. And that's why we've decided that, based upon your behavior today, that you should start seeing a psychiatrist. 
I should start seeing a psychiatrist. You guys were the ones that were arguing. Yes, yeah, so we had some things to discuss, and uh, we decided that you need an example of a secure, steady, uh, solid man that can help you to work some things out so you can become more stable. And so we'd like to start sending you to see Dr. Von Schlockenbach. Well, after seeing Dr. Von Schlockenbach for about eight or nine months with very little results, results an unusual thing happened one day. After a particularly stressful day, week in middle school, I came in looking for a solid, secure support that I'd known to come to rely upon. And strangely enough, he was in the corner of the room on the phone, bawling his eyes out, crying. So at first I thought, you know, since he was crying so profusely and sincerely, I thought, you know, maybe he was just acting out in order to teach me something, like it's okay for secure men to cry, but he wasn't. He was sincerely crying. So I asked him, Dr. Von Schlockenbach, what's wrong? Why are you crying? He said, <laughs> everything, everything is wrong. I can't take it anymore. I'm going to have to reschedule your session. I'm sorry. I'll call you tomorrow to schedule your next session. At the young age of 15 years old, I came to realize that nearly everyone has problems. And much like my father wanted to help his patients, I wanted to help my mother and father to have a happy and secure relationship. And out of their conflict and later divorce grew my passion and drive to help my parents and future patients, which later led me to going to chiropractic school and developing the therapies found in my new book, The Skolnikoff Method, New Medicine for a New You, where I outline how you can carefully navigate the treacherous waters of conflict in your life. The Skolnikoff Method saves people's lives. <laughs>